Hey, this is Sean. A few people had questions for how to get the virtual camera set up. So this is a quick tutorial. All right, the first thing is to enable the required plugins. So there's three, main three of them, but then they trigger other ones. Uh, so go under settings, plugins, built-in plugins, and the virtual camera, of course. So the virtual camera, turn that on and the remote session turn that on and the ar kit so apple ar kit so those three make sure those are turned on some of the other ones will auto turn on when you like the virtual camera will turn on the virtual production utilities and it will I think it will also turn on the take recorder and there was, there was like something else in the docs that I remember seeing. And then I tested it and I think that it just turned it all on. Yeah, it was the back channel. So yeah, that needed to be on as well. But anyways, once those are on, it will ask you to restart your system, which I've already done. So then the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is go to the world settings. So world settings here and flip the game mode into virtual camera game mode, which will then set the player controller cat class as well. So that will fix that issue. Uh, nothing in the world should be set to auto possess. So I think a couple of people have bumped into this. You hit play, then you, the recorder, the take recorder doesn't show up. And that's especially if you're using like a first person default template that has a auto possess turned on. So select the first person character, go to the details tab, scroll all the way down to, let's see, yeah, it's under pawn. And then just the auto possess player, just put that to disabled. So hopefully that'll help a lot of people. Uh, let's see what else. The project settings for input, uh, let's see, project settings. You go under input here, and then you can, you can flip the always show touch interface. And if you want, you can enable the gesture recognizer. There's other stuff you can, you can switch the, the interface if you want uh, a slightly different one. There's this default virtual joysticks, but anyways, uh, Either one should be fine. All right, so having done that, then if you haven't done it already, but uh, get the Unreal Remote 2 from the Apple Store. So here's the uh, here's the remote app that you wanna get. Not the first one, the second one. All right, so if you once you download that onto your Apple device, and it's gonna ask you for your your IP. So the way you can get that is you just hit the Windows key, command, CMD, you open up a command prompt. This is old school. You uh, then you just type IP config and you get this information, which you don't want to show other people. So I'm going to gray this out mostly, but the IP v4 address is the one that you're going to dial in into your game. Uh, well, into the app. So once you've done that, then let's see, one or two other things. Oh uh, yeah, the .ini file. So you just go into the Unreal project and I haven't seen this be an issue, but if you need to, you can go under properties and just make sure that this isn't read only. They said that in the help docs, but I haven't run into that as an issue for myself. Uh, the other one was the default engine.ini this one. So if you open that up, you can paste this piece of code into the default engine.ini for the remote session. All right. And then next, let's close that under the edit preferences, editor preferences. And you can also, um, this is just more of an aesthetic thing, but um, under game viewport, it's just easier just to type these sometimes. Yeah, game viewport settings. Then you just uh, look for 
viewport resolutions and you can dial in the tablet or uh, phone if you're going to use like an iPhone or iPad Pro or an iPad you can try you know, whatever and see if it works and then once you've got that dialed in that's pretty much it it should just work let me just test it here so uh, yeah when you test it you just want to use the play and editor so let's see I have the uh, quality set low but yeah it looks like there it goes it's uh, just turning around the tablet I'm looking up and you know you can this it, there's I'll put a link to a Google Doc that'll have links to you know different related stuff and inter including like the take manager and stuff like that there's some virtual production stuff going on there all right awesome well hopefully that helps some people out all right thanks so much for watching